everyone this is motion grapher here and today in this video we are going to create this beautiful 3d look text animation you can use and apply this technique to any of the text you want for your maybe your for website or for your logo so without wasting any time let's start the tutorial so i have opened the after effect now create a new composition i'm calling it as main comp I'm selecting the width to 1920 and height to 1080 and you can select the duration to 10 second. Okay, now we have created a new composition. Okay, now I'm going to add one background in this comp. You can download this file from freepic.com. I've given the link in the video description. If you want to download the template, you can download it as well. I've given the link in the video description. Okay, now I'm importing this background into our composition. Press S and then scale it down. Cool. Now we need to create a text, right click, new and text. Okay, now we have created a text. I'm just adding some random text to animate to give you an example how it will look like or how it works. So I have added a logo. This is our reference text. Why I'm calling it as reference because the each letter now we are going to animate would be separate new text. So what I mean that we need to create a separate L O G and then again O with a separate new text. For that, I'm going to create a new text that would be L. Okay, the second text would be O. So I'm duplicating this L layer by pressing Ctrl D and changing it to O. I, I'm again duplicating it and changing it to G and then again duplicate it. Now reposition it according to the reference text. Okay, so for the O it should be around here and the L should be around here. So cool, we have repositioned it according to our reference text. You can now turn off this reference text. Now make this text centered. If you want, you can resize it by going into the character. So I think we need to resize it to maybe 200. Okay, and then reposition it according to your requirement. Cool. Now we are going to add some uh, drop shadow effects so that we can have the effect like we have in the sample video. For that, go into the effects and preset panel and search drop shadow add that drop shadow to one of the letter i'm adding it into our l letter okay cool now you can change the distance to something around 20 decrease the uh, increase the softness to something around 22 change the direction to look like t or 102 so after that now we are going to make these all three or four text layer 3d so select all of these layers and then click on this 3d icon now we have made these all layers 3d why we are doing this because we want to make them overlap on one and other so i'm going to add another view so you can easily understand the concept i'm using the two views horizontal on the left side if you click on the left side you, you will see i have selected the top view so if you want this top view go into this section and select this top view so we have already selected the top view now you can see that we have some red lines these are actually representing the text we have the layers we have on this timeline so if you select the l you can see this is our l this is our o then this is g and this is our second or last o you can also see that on the right side of the panel, the same letter is highlighted. You can see the O is highlighted here and O is highlighted on the top view of this preview window. Now what we want, I actually want that the this this O is should be behind this L. So for that, select this O, press P for the position value and then uh, this last third value is actually that we can drag drag this O layer behind this L or forward this L. 
now okay now we have moved this o backward from l now if you move the horizontal values you will see that the drop shadow of the l is above this o layer okay cool do the same with this g press p for the position value and then move it backward or behind this this o layer now do the same with the o i'm moving this uh, back then g this one is z layer this one is o layer you can move it behind the g layer cool now if you move them horizontally below this g layer you can see that it is it is below this g layer but you cannot see any effect on it because we have not added the drop shadow effect on g o and this o you can select this l press c to copy it and then select all other layers on which we have not applied the drop shadow and then control v or command v to paste it you can see we have added the drop shadow effect on that now move this g and o below this o layer so i'm moving it horizontally left side and now you can see that we have the cool overlapping effect you can apply this technique on all of your text layers okay now i'm closing this view to one view so that you can see that how our text is looking right now now you can select all of these layers and make it center if you want nice and do a little adjustment okay cool okay now it's time to do the animation our text has been designed i'm moving this time indicator to around two seconds and then selecting all of the text layer press p and add the position keyframe value at two second now move this this time indicator backward to around one two three four five six frames and uh, add another keyframe position value around here why we are doing this because at this point at two second our text position would look like this but from zero to this point at this point they should be overlapped on one another so, so we are going to change their position so, so let's move them centered you can on the proportional grid for helping i'm moving the g on the center as well o again on the center and then l on the center as well okay now we have made them all of this centered i'm turning off the proportional grid now if you play you can see that these will open like this in the end but we need to move the camera right click new and then camera you can rename it to whatever you want you can select the preset to 28 mm one node camera and uh, these all are the settings that you need to make make sure that all are same press ok now we have created a camera let me turn on another view for you again the two horizontal view this one is the top view now you can see that our camera is positioned at this point so you need to move the time indicator to your first frame of this layer press p for position icon and then click on this timer icon so that our camera is positioned now move this time indicator at this position All and right. then you need to move the camera for that you can change this z position value so if you move the z position value on the right side you can see that we are going to zoom in to the letters as this camera start moving closer to this letter you will see that the camera will moving start moving closer to these letters on the right side so i'm going to these letters you can see that the camera has on the right left side you can see that the camera is closer to this first letter but you can see that we are not getting the effect we want because the distance between the letters are very low so we need to increase the distance for that what we can do make sure that your time indicator are at these keyframe values now what you need to do make sure the last letter is at the last stage or have occupied the, all the space so we are moving the last o letter to this point you can see we have consumed all the space 
now distance the g as well i'm moving the g to this point and this o to this point now you can see that we have equally distributed and increased the distance between these letters now on the right hand side you can see the distance between the letter as well now it's time to move the camera further you can see that the camera is moving between these letters and on the left side you can see as well and we want this camera to be animated from this position to this position we have added the first keyframe value around here and the second keyframe value is the moving it forward to the last word we have the last word is o so we have make sure that camera crossed all the letters to the last word or the last letter now um, move the time indicator to the last keyframe values and then simply copy this first keyframe value add another keyframe at this point and then paste it by using command v now you can see that camera is moved back to its original position you can see it in the in the top left side as well that how it is moving back Now you're done with the animation, but you can add another effect that will make your animation a lot cooler. So I'm turning off the view to one view. I'm adding the aperture and the focus thing that you can found in the camera layer. Press double U on this camera layer. And then you can see you have the camera option on this layer that is depth of field and the focus distance and aperture. We are going to play with the focus distance and aperture one if you if you decrease the focus distance you can see that the, the, the layers or the text layers are going to be blurry soon so i am changing the focus distance to around 250 you will see that it has blurred but you do not need to worry about that i am changing the aperture to 120 it will make it more worse but let me show the magic as we start moving closer to these layers they will start appearing one by one the next letter is start appearing and then going into blurry section so if you preview it you will see that how these letters started appearing in a very cinematic way so this is the uh, benefit of using the aperture now at this point we need to add the keyframe value for the focus distance and for the aperture distance and now add the original position you need to change their focus distance and aperture value to their original value that are around 1400 for the focus distance and for the aperture that should be around 97 now you can see that the blurriness has gone nice we have done really great animation today with you guys thank you very much for watching if you have any suggestion you can comment it down so that's all from today see you soon in next video